Buenos días, obitros, y bienvenidos a the Referee Forum. Okay, that's that's all the Spanish I'm doing. Um, I want to give a shout out to all the Spanish uh, referees that we've got out there. I received uh, a message the other day saying, "Love the content, but we've got it. <laughs> we have to watch it um, with the subtitles." And now I auto generate subtitles in English, and they're not always accurate. Um, especially in the Final Whistle podcast. Um, bless the Facebook algorithm, but it does its absolute best to capture what Martin is saying, but it just doesn't understand Scouse. So I apologize. But the words that it picks up then get translated into this weird Spanish equivalent of Scouse English. So uh, I, I, there's not much I can do other than learn more Spanish than I already do, but I don't think I can get Martin and Nathan to learn Spanish. But. Hey, there we go. Fun start to the video. So this one is from St. Lucia. Beautiful Caribbean island. Wish I was there, but I'm not. I'm in England. You'll see a defender throwing himself into a tackle. Really throwing himself into a big tackle. And he makes a little bit of contact uh, with his opponent. Uh, and in the process of that, uh, his head gets hit into the floor. This causes a little bit of a ruckus. Now let's, let's break this down. Questions I want to ask about this one is... Um, is it a foul in the first place? The player making the tackle, he's thrown himself in, both feet are off the floor. Would you be tempted to give a foul for that in the first place? Flip it over. If you don't think it's a foul, is the contact with the opponent where he puts him down onto the floor, is that a foul? Are you looking at any cards from this uh, incident here? If they are, are they red or are they yellow? Uh, really interestingly in this one, the referee is wearing a body cam. Now, let's not dob anyone in here if you know this referee shh, this to yourself um, because obviously the laws of the game state that you can't wear any electronics apart from the comms that they wear uh, and electronic buzzer flags so the fact that this referee is wearing a body cam not asked don't worry about it um, but it does give a unique uh, kind of insight into this incident that we wouldn't have had if the referee wasn't wearing a body cam um, so let's have a little look at the, uh, at the clip and uh, as always, there's a ton of stuff to discuss down in the comments. Uh, the last video I put out, tons of comments, tons of shares. Uh, get this content out there. Loving, loving the work that everyone's doing, loving the comments, loving everything of uh, the refereeing community and keep sharing uh, because the more collectively we know, uh, the better referees we will all become. And that is, it, ultimately, that's what we all want for each other, isn't it? Yeah, it is. If you've not already done so, please get on Twitter and Facebook and follow and find the Referee Forum. Bup, 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 bup. Uh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Ant Canavan. Uh, that's, that's me. Uh, so we've got Twitch and YouTube, slash Ant Canavan. And we've also got Instagram and Twitter at and Canavan. Get get on them, get on them. I share loads of content, uh, stuff, stuff that's funny, stuff that's refereeing, stuff in my life. That's where it's at. All right, sweet. Let's crack on with this video. Outside, guys. 